Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahal with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Larry Bobka. He's a master fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. He's worked with some of the best players in the world. Uh, and so he's going to help me out with my chipping today. Of course, Larry probably knows better than anybody a few of the best chipping drills to do to improve your short game. And uh, I need some practice with my short game. So Larry's here to give me some advice on the best ways to do that. So uh, Larry, let's get started right away here. Uh, if you got a couple of drills, fire them at me because I am I am curious about any of these that will help me. Well, you know, everybody could use a little help with their chipping. Everybody wants to chip it close. You know, you hit a couple of good shots on a, on a long par four, you're just off the green. There's nothing worse than chili dipping a chip and mm -hmm. then knocking it on and all of a sudden missing a putt. And all of a sudden, instead of making, you're thinking about making four, you end up making five or six. Mm -hmm. You're not happy about that. Or hitting it close on a par five and hitting a terrible chip. So. What I like to do is try to keep it simple, okay? Um, I'm very fortunate, spent a lot of years with Phil Rogers, who is ar was arguably one of the best short game guys ever. Mm -hmm. And he liked to keep it very simple, okay? So the closer you are to the green, the more you can use your putting stroke. So if we've got a good, pretty good putting stroke, we can chip that way. So. Say we're hitting just a little bit chip, just into the screen and the track pad, mm -hmm. okay? You've got your 58 degree wedge there, you use the low bounce. So yep. here's what I would have you do. So I would have you set up, now you set up how, if you were gonna just chip it right into the screen, right at the bottom of the screen, you show me how you hit this shot. Okay. I mean, yeah, because you're mentioning no, you know, just use the putting stroke essentially, right? Yeah, but I want you to just hit it the way you hit oh, it first. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, the way you would do it. Okay, not bad. Sounded a little thin on the contact. So let's do this. So you go set yourself up again. Okay, okay. like the open stance. So let's do this. Let's get a little bit closer to the ball. Let's raise that toe up. You know, there's part of the reason why we grind up where you've got a grind where the heel and toe has a lot of relief. Mm -hmm. Well, we can use that wedge a little differently now. So we can put it up here, because first of all, you don't ever want the grass to catch the yeah. heel of your wedge when you're hitting a little pitch like this. So we're gonna put it a little bit up on its toe. We're okay. gonna put your hand slightly ahead, ball a little bit back in your stance, and then you're just gonna use your putting stroke. I mean, how simple is that? And the good news is, if I'm going to hit a short shot, I can use my 58 degree. If I'm going to hit a little longer shot, you can use your 54, your 50, your pitching wedge, your 8 iron. I mean, it's just a simple move that mm -hmm. helps you make solid contact every time and you don't have to worry about it. So let me give you, let me give you one more. So go ahead, and, go ahead and set yourself up your normal way, okay? Normal way? Yep, yep, your normal way. So your weight in your center is behind that golf ball. Mm -hmm. So you are kind of asking yourself to hit some bad shots on occasion. Because if you hang back a little bit, you could chili dip it. Yep. And then if you lean into it, you can really stick that blade in the ground. So just like putty, get about set yourself up, get about 70% of your weight on your left leg and then just hit the pitch. Very easy to make solid contact. Sounds like it comes out of the sweet spot on the wedge. Yeah, it did. It did. So there you go. All right, well, that was just a couple pointers right there from Larry Bob to help my chipping. Uh, I know that could be a big help to anybody out there who's watching this video. So Larry, thank you for that. I'm gonna hopefully lower my scores with that one. You should.